Well, we have officially entered spring break territory, and here with some cool ideas to beat that boredom is our favorite, Mama Gone Geek, Lynn Brunel. I am so excited to have you back. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you. She, she always has the coolest experiments, and these are a great way to use up Easter candy. Now, typically, we don't always get through our peeps, but we have a lot of them because they're so fun. They're fun. They're fun. You, you know, my thing is maybe you don't want to eat them. They're more fun to play with. Well, I'm here with that. <laughs> so how do we, number one, dissolve a peep? Well, here's the thing. I love to use these things as experiments, right? Mm -hmm. And so one of the things you can ask your kids is to just pose a problem to them. Give them three glasses and say, how would you dissolve a peep, right? Okay. And then get them talking about it, and they might say water. Uh, and then you can ask questions like, okay, so what if I put water in? What do you think will happen? Get them to think. What if I put vinegar in? What will happen? Get them to think about that. Get, what if I put nail polish oh. remover in? Ooh. What do you think will happen? So what do you think will happen? Uh, I don't think much will happen with the water. Well, pour the hot water in, and we'll okay, see. Okay, hot water. I mean, hot maybe water. it'll melt. Oh, he, his, his clothes came off. His what? clothes came off. So what you notice here mm -hmm. is that the sugar dissolves, right? The sugar dissolves. But the actual peep isn't changing too, too much. Okay, all right, interesting, okay. okay. That's interesting. What about vinegar? What do you yeah. think will happen if we put vinegar in? I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I can't know. think it's about kind the of properties of vinegar. Right? It's vinegar is an acid. Okay. Wow, it looks like the water had more of an effect on our friend initially. So it looks like the sugar doesn't necessarily get dissolved so easily by the vinegar, by ah. the acid. Um, and that's interesting. But then looking back, and that peep is really not changing, despite mm -hmm. that it's floating in a hot bath. It is. Now, what do you think is going to happen if we put nail polish? I on can't it? even imagine. I actually feel bad for this peep. But <laughs> do it. I won't look. All right. Look, 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 look. Wow, not much happens. So that's kind of interesting to think that, you know what, these are going in your stomach. And not a, not, not a very <laughs> common thing. You're not, you don't have Nail this in your stomach. Remover. Yeah. It's not really changing these things. So what's happening is that the sugar is being dissolved by the water, right? Okay. That's breaking the bonds there. But the uh, peeps are made out of marshmallows, which is gelatin-based. Those bonds are not being broken. Got it. When you chew them up and you put them in your stomach with acid, it will break down some of those bonds. But basically, that's kind of what's going on. So Strong that's why bonds. I think they're way more fun to play with than to eat. Okay, so, so what about if we microwave the This peep? is the best thing. My Microwave a peep is uh, is the best. I'm gonna take a plate. I'm gonna put a couple of colors. Okay. I'll put a bunny in. I'll put a chick and I'll put a it's yellow just, chick in. We'll put so it in. So sad, but I love it. And we're gonna microwave this. Now my kids don't like. I mean, we will. I think it's got 42 seconds oh, left. Oh, here we so. go. Then start. All right. So I'm right. gonna let that go and keep an eye on it. We like to set them up with little jousting sticks, put them on a plate, and put them in there because you'll see what happens when they're microwaved. It makes the air molecules inside the marshmallow move and expand, and it gets trapped in those sort of gelatin fibers. And so you can sort of see here. Do they move around? They don't move around, but you can see they oh, get they explode. huge. <laughs> Look at this. So what's oh fun when you gosh. have this, you have these duels and you say which going to win, pink or green, and then you say which one impales itself on the other one. And that's really fun. I'll tell you, my kids loved doing that. I can't that. actually wait to do this. We're going to have so much. My kids are going to be <laughs> over the moon. So I'm going to take some of these peeps. I'm going to microwave them again because you can take them and we can make Play-Doh and slime out of them. Play-Doh and slime? Play-Doh and slime. So I'm going to stick to one color. So I'm going okay. to this just, I'm just going to put this over here just for fun. Okay. Okay. Stick <laughs> um, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna microwave a few pink peeps. All right, uh, and I'm gonna microwave so for about 30 seconds. For the this best something. look, you want to keep with one because it really does start to get. You, well, you can make different colors and then marbleize it afterwards. Oh. But when you mix it all together at the beginning, it's just gonna be kind of muddy looking. But you want to microwave for about 30 seconds, right? And this is where you want your, you know, you it, it's hot when it comes out, and so you want to make sure that you're around so that you don't have little burnt fingers. Yes, that, that okay. Would be a bad memory. So just to show, <laughs> as you're making this, this is actually the slime once it's made and it really it does feel like the slime my kids make all the time yeah so here I've got I've got my my <laughs> microwaved bunnies and really what this is a two-step this is the first one we're gonna do is a play-doh okay. so it's a two-step we're just gonna add um, a little confectioner sugar 
that kind of uh, makes it less sticky. And then we're going to kind of put a tiny bit of oil in, and that breaks these gelatin bonds. Okay, so, so I was going to add, oh, that breaks the gelatin bonds. Yes, okay. and that helps. And we need the science in here. Yeah, that helps make it slippery slimy. Well, I was going to ask, you know, I would not be surprised if my children tried to eat this, but it doesn't seem it's like edible. it would hurt them. No, it's edible. Okay. That's the, the good thing about it. And, you know, for little littles, it's kind of fun to make this. Okay. And then uh, put jelly beans in it and Ooh, make it just a tactile. Fun. Kind of okay. Yeah. We only have about a minute left. Let's get to the okay. Peeps Play-Doh. All right. Well, the Peeps Play-Doh is uh, similar. You microwave it and then you add cornstarch instead. So instead of the confectioner's sugar. And as you can see, I needed to work on that a little I bit longer. I love but that. You can see the final thing. So the slime this itself slime. does not have any oil in it. It just has cornstarch. Okay. And so you're able to stretch it and, and flow again because mm. it's making it so the molecules, molecules can slide past each other. Yes. This is so much fun. We um, are going to have all these experiments. Experiments? Experiments. <laughs> all these experiments. <laughs> have a peep. <laughs> on the New Day website. You also have an experiment for an egg geo. Oh my gosh. Maybe we'll put that on our social media page. Okay. But you just got to go check all this stuff out. It's so much fun. You are always such a Pleasure to have. Oh, it's so fun to be here.